Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Um, good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you. I truly do. Welcome, welcome, welcome new subscribers. We are here doing a general reading for Sagittarius. This is for the Sun, Moon, Rising. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this is for July 2021. 20, Sagittarius, I'm already sage, prayed over the cards. And I got your overall energies here laid out. You have Secret Lover here. And you have Caged Heart Damaged. Caged Heart Damaged. So either you or somebody that you're dealing with has a secret person. And somebody's heart is so damaged. They're very, they're very protected over themselves. Someone is definitely protecting their heart here, Sagittarius. Maybe this is you. I don't know. Could be the person that you're dealing with. But somebody's got a secret lover. And you're, somebody's protecting their heart from that. Yeah, higher purpose. <coughs> so let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. What is the situation here for with Sagittarius, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit? What is the situation here with Taurus, Sagittarius? Why well, say Taurus? Y'all could be dealing with a Taurus. I don't know. Possibly, yeah. I see the Two of Pentacles. Somebody here could be juggling because we do have Secret Lover here on the table. So somebody could be, you know, juggling somebody else and somebody is like i know what you're doing that's why i'm protecting myself i'm not you know i'm not even going to entertain you that much bottom line we have justice here and we have four pentacles maybe you're holding on to your money trying to save your money i'm feeling you're definitely holding back your your emotions because you know about a secret lover here I'm getting that you know about somebody, a secret lover. You want things to be balanced here. And you may cut somebody off because you you want, you know, things to be balanced in your life. Because I see the knife here. She got a knife here. And she got this scale here. So in order for her to get things balanced, you're going to have to cut somebody off, Sag. Or maybe this is how your person is feeling. I don't know. Yeah, we got the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's juggling too. That's like giving to other people. Yeah. What else you have here, guys, for Sagittarius? What else do you have for Sagittarius, guys? We have the Eight of Pentacles. You're working hard. You're trying to master something here. I'm also hearing someone wants to work on something too. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, ooh, y'all got a lot of cards there. At the bottom, the, your overall energies, Sagittarius, is a ten of wands. This is being burdened by something. And you have the nine of cups with that. The nine of cups, this is like, you know what, I'm happy by myself right now. I don't want to share my love right now because it's a burden. So I'm just going to pretty much deal with me right now um, because I don't I don't want these burdens right now. Somebody doesn't want these burdens. With the Knight of Pentacles here, you want to take your time offering somebody something stable and grounded. You want to take your time. You're going to be very methodical about it too. You're going to dot your I's. You're going to cross your T's, you know. 
whoever you going to be dealing with, you're going to make sure this is the right person for you. You're just not about to just jump into any situation. It's just not going to go down like that with you. We got the Nine of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's stressing out. Somebody can't eat, can't sleep. What is this about? Like I said, it could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here on the board. Libra. We have the higher fun here. Maybe some of you guys are seeking out spiritual counseling. Um, some of y'all could be married and this could be a divorce on the table. Because like I said, somebody is cutting somebody out because they know they got a secret lover. Somebody know they got a secret lover. And it's got something to do with a family situation here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This is financial security. This is, this could be um, retirement. Some of you guys are going to be retiring. Um, this is, you know, a, a financial family situation. Hmm. We have the high priestess. The all-knowing. There's some secrets here. Use your intuition, Sagittarius. There could be some secrets going on at a job here. And we have the Queen of Wands. This could be your energy, taking action. Taking action, being very passionate about something, being very aggressive about something, going for what you want and getting it. Yeah, and getting it. But yeah, there's something here. Some, something over our energies is a ton of wands. Someone is about to drop some burdens here. Period. Period. Let's clarify these cards. Why is justice here? Why is justice here for Sagittarius? Why is justice here? We have the Queen of Swords, yeah. Told you, justice here. Somebody's cutting somebody out. <clears throat> out of a marriage. Um, out of a commitment. It doesn't matter. But we have the Hierophant here, which, which represents a, a marriage, a, a commitment. But somebody knows about a secret lover. So this Queen of Swords, she's a no-tolerance type of person. She done been through a lot of things and she's not, she's cutting things out that don't serve her. Period. And that's going to be justice. That's going to be somebody's justice. And it's going to be somebody's karma. You know? Whatever is done in the dark is coming to the light. It's here. It's here, y'all. So, I don't, I, why is the Four Pentacles here? The Four of Pentacles is being clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here with the Four of Pentacles? Someone could be definitely holding on to money for real, a job, the King of Swords. Somebody want to speak some truth because someone is holding on to this situation. They want to work it out. Somebody want to work this situation out here. And they holding on like for dear life, for real, for real. We got the Eight of Pentacles here twice. Somebody definitely wants to work on this marriage, this commitment, this, this, this relationship. I don't know, y'all. The Six of Wands is being clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants success and victory here. Sagittarius, you're getting a lot of attention too. Possibly at wherever you work at. You're gonna be getting a lot of attention. You're gonna be you're gonna be recognized. You're gonna get recognition, all of that. Somebody's really gonna you're gonna be very successful at what you do for work. Yes. And this is definitely your energy, Leo Sagittarius. This is your energy. You're gonna be very successful. You know, uh, wherever, what, what, what you do for work, you're going to be really successful at it. 
You're going to get a lot of praises, too. Rewards, gifts, good news. Go ahead on in, Sag. Go ahead on. Nine of Swords. Who is doing all this stressing? Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Six of Swords. Maybe you're stressing about moving. Some of you guys could be stressing about moving, moving forward. Ain't nothing to stress about it because you're going to be successful. Let it go. You're going to be successful. You need to move away from things that no longer serve you. But somebody is stressing about somebody moving away from them. Yeah, somebody's moving away because they they they, they, they feel betrayed. Three of Swords. This is great sadness. This is heartbreak, conflict. You know what I'm saying? Someone, someone is going through some pain here. Mm-hmm. And, they, and somebody is stressing about somebody moving away from them. Mm. Ooh -wee. Why is the higher fine here? The Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody is burdened in a marriage. The Ten of Wands twice. Sagittarius, you're very burdened in a marriage, okay? Very burdened. It's time to move away. And somebody is stressing about somebody moving away. You know, because... Why is the Ten of Wands here with the higher font? Oops. Okay, we got two cards. The moon. There's a lot of secrets here in a marriage. The King of Pentacles. There's a lot of secrets, and somebody else could be married here. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Five of Pentacles. So the other person, somebody is feeling abandoned, left out, destitute in a marriage situation. I think possibly this is why someone doesn't want to move away to because of finances. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Sad, your finances is going to be looking really, really good. So hang in there. It's coming. The Ten of Pentacles is being clarified by the hangman. So there's something that's stagnant in a family situation. Something is not moving forward here. And someone has gotten a different perspective on this situation. And they they someone is using their intuition too. You could be dealing with a very intuitive person here. Mm-hmm. The high priestess. Very intuitive. Why is the hangman here? The Three of Pentacles. Somebody want to wanna collaborate about this situation. Mm -hmm. and, and I think someone feels that there's, no, there's not enough teamwork in a family situation. One person is given more than the other person is also what I'm hearing. Why is the High Priestess here? What is the secrets? Why is the High Priestess here? We have the King of Wands. So a Leo, Sag, or Aries have some secrets here. The Five of Swords. Someone feels that someone is very secretive, possibly in a marriage or in a commitment or in a situation. And um, they feel that this person is very manipulative. They like to play too many mind games. Somebody here wants to win at all costs. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Queen of Wands. We had a king of wands and a queen of wands. So somebody is very passionate. So one couple here is very passionate about each other. This queen of wands. We have the sun card here. So somebody's going to be very successful. Sad, you're going to be very successful here. This is success, happiness, prosperity, hope, love, joy, satisfaction, vita vitality, clarity, understanding, achievement, fulfillment, and good news. Um, Sagittarius, understand that God got your back, okay? Big time. Big time. You, you, you can't do nothing but succeed. You can do nothing but succeed. Here, why is the sun card here? But somebody has been enlightened also about a Leo, Sag, or an Aries, okay? Yeah, someone feels that someone is very toxic here in this situation, in this marriage, commitment, you know, whatever. Someone feels that someone is very toxic. But somebody here wants a new beginning. Oh, my God. 
Why is the devil here with the Ace of Pentacles? This just don't make sense. Why would you want a new beginning with somebody that's toxic? Yeah, could be dealing with a Scorpio, but this is ending. Something is ending because somebody is too toxic. Somebody is not going to move with somebody, move towards a new beginning with somebody that's toxic. That's not going to happen. Somebody is making a judgment here. Somebody is making a judgment here because somebody is juggling. That ain't going to happen. It's just not going to happen, y'all. Why? Why would you think it would? No. Sash, this could be you or somebody you're dealing with. Let's get an outcome. Yeah, let's get an outcome here. Let's get an outcome. Yeah, this video is going to be called Cutting Things Out That, that Don't Serve Me. Yeah, because that's pretty much what's going on with y'all. Y'all cutting things out that don't serve you. And you definitely moving towards success. Definitely moving towards success. <clears throat> What's the outcome here for Sagittarius? Ooh, what is that? Yeah, Ten of Wands again. This was your overall energy and there it is again, the Ten of Wands. Something is really burdening you. So, and then we have something is burdening you because a water sign has possibly found out about a three, about a third party here. A third party, I mean, something came out here about a third party. Somebody here got their emotions is all over the place. This could be you, Sag, or the, or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody's emotions is all over the place. And they're very burdened about this third party here. What is the advice? What is the advice? Someone is regretting something here. Someone is regretting the way they treated you. <clears throat> but you taking a step back. You about to go heal yourself, rest, meditate, pray. But you're taking a step back from a situation. That's your advice. Universe wants you to take a step back, okay? Just take a step back and concentrate on you. One more piece of advice, guys. One more piece of advice for Sagittarius. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're going to be at a crossroad. You're trying to figure out which road you're going down now. You over anything. Yeah, justice. You will get justice in this situation. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye.